day that the Lord has made. We shall rejoice and be glad in it. Hallelujah, hallelujah. To God be the glory for all the good things he's done in our lives. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Love you. Hey, everybody. I hope you enjoyed our Happy Father's Day uh, Bible study. I hope you. I hope all the men out there listening, all the people who have fathers, uh, had opportunity and will use the opportunity to go out and, and celebrate your father. Uh, but you know, the, the greatest Father's Day, the greatest father to look at is God the Father. He is our father. And you know what? He looks after us. And uh, I'm glad he did. Amen. All right. So in this video, we talked about what profit or what was profitable in the eyes of God. And and I was I was I was going to focus on the, the scripture where it says that what profits a man to gain the whole world and lose his own soul. But we end up talking about that the kingdom of God. And the world systems are, 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 are different in the sense that when the kingdom of God is about the greatest serving everybody else. In other words, the pyramid is upside down. The pyramid is the greatest is at the bottom serving everybody up all the way up. Amen. And the, first, the more the higher you go, more people. And that's servanthood of those people. You're serving. You know, I think even when you talk about elected officials, their job is to serve. You know, when you talk about represent somebody, you're representing the country. And if you're, if you're the president of the United States, you represent the country. Your interest is toward the whole country. It's never going to be about, it's never going to be effective. It's going to be about a selective slice of people. It's always going to be successful when we actually understand that we, that our elected officials are servants. And then on top of that, we, as far as us being a great nation, it's, it's, it's earned by serving, not being a slave, but serving, helping, and, and, and bringing in rescues, and, and bringing in supplies, and bringing in aids. To, 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 to help nations that, that represents the, our, our, the uh, ideologies, ideologies that we have concerning freedom, democracy. We, we, see, we fight against dictatorship. You know, we don't, we don't think that's right. We, we do fight against fascism and anything else too, because we're about freedom. We're about the, even the fact of our faith is of uh, freedom of religion. We have to be let somebody be a, a Muslim. We have to let someone be a Jew. We have to let somebody be any other type of religion out there. Because you know, by us giving them the right to be who they are, gives us the right to, to be who we are. We're not about taking over somebody. It's all about loving one another, serving one another. And the body of Christ is, is successful when it does that. This country, make this country great, this country is great by being a servant. This country is not great by being militarily strong. Our military is, is it should be our last resort, it should always be. But it's there. It's trained, well equipped to deal with the oppressors, but to fight for the freedom, to govern, let countries govern themselves. Huh? We can't retreat now. We need to be servants. For our nation to be great, we have to be servants of all. If you want to be great, you need to be a servant of all. If you want to be a good father, you need to be a servant of your children, servant of your wife, amen? So that's what we're talking about in that video. And I just want to make sure that that's what we talk about today. I think it was a blessing because it was a different concept. I was never really looking at it before that way about the fact is that the kingdom of heaven, the kingdom of God, is all based on servanthood. He said in the scriptures, if you want to be great, 
you be a servant as well. You don't be a servant based on your skills, sets. You don't be a servant based on the color of your skin. You don't be a servant great. You don't be great based on the color of your skin, based on your wealth or anything else. Your sir is being a servant, being someone who cares for other people and has the interests of other people in mind, which makes a big difference. And that's what we talk about in this Bible study. And I think you'll like it. So I hope you enjoyed the Bible study. And uh, we'll catch you on the next one. We're probably going to have like part A, B, C, D, and E. Uh, I've been working on my vehicle, so I, I didn't do anything last week. I think it was a little too much to play with me. So I'm trying to cut down the politics part because then people get confused, and I don't want to confuse you. I want us to apply our everyday lives based on the gospel. Amen? Yeah? And that's what the Bible says it's about studying the Bible and applying it in everyday life. But we don't want to single out any individual. We don't want to single out a, a president or anybody else. We want to single out Jesus as the Lord in our life and that we are servants for Christ to the world. Amen? <laughs> All right. I hope you enjoy the uh, video and we'll catch you next time. God bless. Bye-bye. Dear Father, thank you, Lord, for this opportunity to come to worship and praise your holy name. Father, said with two or three, I gather in your name, you've been a mess of them. I now invite you to see the presence of the Holy Spirit, the leaders and guide us in all truth. Give us understanding of your word today. Allow us to understand and grow with you, Lord, and understand your purpose for us for this day and time. I thank you for what you're about to do, and we give you the praise, the glory, and honor. In Jesus' name, amen. Amen, amen. All right, amen. now, what, one of the things I was sitting there, uh, looking at uh, today, uh, what God was talking to me, and, and the title I have here is because what is profitable in the eyes of God? And one of the things that's very important for us to understand is what is profitable for you? I mean, it matters, the, the scriptures sit there and say, uh, when we talk the Lord's Prayer, it said, Thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Uh, that means that there's His will. And then there's our wills. And, and, and the question is, do we, do we allow ourselves to die to self, to allow his will to be done in our life? And, and, and I, I, you know, I thought it was interesting, and I was talking earlier, I was saying is that when Jesus came, Jesus was, Jesus was crucified. The accusation, the charge against him was that he was the king of the Jews. That's that's the charge that Pontius Pilate put on Jesus. Uh, and I sat there and thought it was more like for for just just a joke or something. But you know, the children of Israel, the or at least the Sadducees, they said, don't, 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 don't put that, that that he's king of the Jews. Put put down that he 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 called himself. The king of the Jews, or something like that, and the <laughs> point of us is what I've written and written, because the, the point is that uh, Rome was over Israel for that time, and their whole purpose was to to dominate and be in control. The, the any king, any system of government that that existed had to be put under the subjection of Israel, I mean, of, of Rome. And if you didn't put yourself under the subjection of Rome, then then you are an enemy of Rome. Uh, because like in John, the Jews said that Caesar is our king. Now, I mean, that's what's written in John. You know, I know that sometimes we have some people who may be Jewish people, whatever, that's listening maybe sometimes, I don't know. but. That's, that's how it played out. Uh, and I was sitting there thinking today when I was putting down here, I had the uh, scripture of 1 Samuel 8, 16 is where I, I started off with. Well, you know, it was saying is, and he, this is where it says, Israel demands a king. Jesus was crucified for being called the king of the Jews. I mean, even Pontius Pilate said, so, so you are a key. And and why why is that? Why was that significant again? I sit there and say is that 
there, there's only, there was, a, there, matter of fact, you think about it, the Roman Empire said they didn't try to create their own kingdom. They, empire, which they did. And in that empire, there was the supreme ruler, the, the supreme king. And everything else was underneath that. Think about it. Rome was actually a... <laughs> when you think about it, uh, man's kingdom. Man's kingdom. And throughout history, man has tried to set up his kingdom. His kingdom with one ruler. And, and in most cases, that ruler was someone who tried to dominate everybody else, rule uh, with, with oppression, rule with, uh, uh, you know, just, just, just brutalness. Fear. So, and the children of Israel, as they were coming up, they would sit there and try to do the same thing. Uh, you know, God was in there saying, I delivered you out of Egypt. I did. Moses didn't do that. I did that. Moses will tell you who did it. Moses will tell you who the source uh, of, of, of his inspiration, uh, his dedication, uh, who's telling, who's directing him, right? And, and as they move forward, and then it's like this, man, I mean, if we get more to the scriptures, there's people who sit there and try to fight against that. You know, fight against Moses, complain and murmur against Moses, uh, because they were like, God talked to us too. So in other words, that everybody, to me, seems through life, all the way up to this day and time, wants to be the supreme ruler. And they have people who uh, uh, rally behind them. Uh, and those people, and that's one of the things about this world system, is that the people that's part of the system, that's part of the hierarchy, that, 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 to try to bring it up, uh, are constantly trying to put down and alienate anybody else that tries to uh, be part of the system. In other words, man has a tendency to try to create automatically a hierarchy in this system. In other words, it, we, we, we want privileges uh, established throughout the, man, the hierarchy of this world system, a system in which there is a subordination of people uh, within the world system kingdom. There, there's a king, and then there's the king's advisors. There, there's there's an army we talk about to, to enforce the rules of the king. Uh, there's taxation. There's a... Uh, most cases, most kingdoms try to sit there where they can just... That, whatever that guy says goes. And, and then all the people that's under them are the ones that's reacting to that. And, and push anybody or try to push anybody to try to go against that concept. Think about it. And, and what God is in there saying, look, listen, that is not my system. I am the king. And all of you are one, equal to one another. I don't need no goddess in the sand. He don't need somebody to, to, to be oppressing somebody else uh, or be above somebody else because there, there's nobody above God and there's nobody above you. This is the greatness of the kingdom of God. The kingdom of God is that you are equal across the board. I don't care about people sitting there. And you got to think about it. Look at the systems that we have in ministries, systems that we have in this world. All those systems consist of a hierarchy 
of people above other people. And we, the, the, the more oppressive the system, system is, the more layers of people goes above it. Even when you talk about the concept of racism, racism in itself is trying to be a subjugation to subjugate people uh, so that, that one, so should, in this case, the racism deals with, I want this group of people to be below this group of people. And then this group of people be below that group of people. In other words, we even try to create a hierarchy among ourselves. Well, Pastor. And 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 then we then we brutally try to oppress, suppress, oppress people uh, that we have put in a hierarchy that support them. I mean, we got you uh, know monitor system. We got this hierarchy. We got upper class, lower class. Uh, <laughs> what's it? What's it? What's it? The wealthy, right? Uh, and in the, and in this world system, you got the, the wealthy is that one percent that, that that has most of the wealth. What what ninety seven percent of the wealth or more? And then everybody else has little layers to say, well, you know, I'm, a, I'm, I'm, I'm upper class, upper middle class. You know, look, we even do that in the, in the middle class. Upper middle class, lower middle class, I guess it's a middle middle class. <laughs> and then we got lower class and we're talking, talking about, we, we classify ourselves among ourselves. And then we create hierarchy. We get it, we charge church ministries and we create the, 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 uh, you know, we got we got we got the pastors in charge, and, and then we got the deacons, and then we got the sub pastors, and, and then we got the, the the choir, and we got all we got all these different hierarchies. Uh, who's in charge? And you know, it was like with, with Moses and Aaron and Miriam, uh, they sit there and had a spat at time because they said, "Is who's in charge? Who's in charge?" And the question is. And always been. And always where God wanted to be is that He's in charge. Huh? God is in charge. And God wants no other God before Him. Amen. God don't need somebody else to be over you. I think if you really go into the kingdom of God, that is all about you as an individual having a personal relationship with God Almighty. And look, Jesus Christ, the God here, we're talking is the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit are one. So the head is God. And, 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 and God wants all his children to be one. You know what I mean? Just, just cross the board, one. Stand on yourself and be in one. That's what he wants. And what we do is, and, and, I, and that's why I see what the world system is all about. The whole purpose of the world system is to get us uh, not to look up to God, but to look up to one another. And I ain't talking about equally. We, we want to create a uh, hierarchy like the world system. And that's why I sit there and use the, uh, the scripture today. I'm in 1 Samuel uh, chapter 8, signed to verse 16. When you get a chance, see if you can catch up with that. You know, and, and hopefully, you know, we'll at least we ought to put this recording in. Uh, we'll go ahead and put <laughs> the fact is that uh, it's God, not us. The biggest problem is that we want to put people in charge of us. And there's people who are willing to be in charge of us. And I ain't talking about just Chris, I'm just talking about the world system. We all want to be subordinate to a man instead of God. And God is the one that we really should be subordinate to and nobody else. Or well, does that mean, uh, uh, what you call it, chaos? No, he ain't talking about chaos. We're talking about the fact is that thy will be done, his will be done 
And anybody, any structure, infrastructure you may want to call it, needs to be subordinate to God and line up with his will. And don't try to protect your position or position or, or, or jockeying or for, for positions in the kingdom of God because God is sitting there saying, no. I'm not, I'm not interested in, in this just jockeying of positions. I'm more interested in people learning to love one another and trusting in one another and, and, and not hurting one another. He's interested in all of us bearing fruits of the Spirit instead of sitting there trying to bear fruits of, of uh, the world system, of the flesh. So, so I, I wanted to, to read some of this um, and see what you think about it. Because that's what I think maybe the biggest problem is. And I found out, you know, I, I guess I was thinking about this. When we was, the, recently we was talking and about the, the protests and, and, and please continue to pray for one another concerning this uh, COVID-19. Uh, and, and then even when we talked about with the Black Lives Matter, the bottom line is that's what God is trying to tell you. All of us matter. And when anybody, when you put that sub, that world system in there, and the world system and trying to put this hierarchy of, of now race, what are we talking about? We got hierarchies of money. So some people are just say, okay, let's have a hierarchy of race. And then in that, we have some, uh, the, 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 the positioning of people based on that. And the next thing you have is what I call uh, that the lower your the world wants to try the world I'm not talking the world in the world system where it tries to sit there and put people in categories races in categories and then based on where you are in that race now you, you could be you don't matter sometimes well, some people think you don't matter. And, and that's that's where that, that, that movement comes from. And because when we try to do it by the world system, we find out that it's stupidity. It's stupidity to sit there and try to category man. See, man is man. I don't care what you, it, it doesn't matter what you can, I'm just telling you, man is man. It's not, it's melanin in the skin does not determine whether one person or another is, 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 is supportive of another person. And that you know that's created by man. It ain't created by God. God said, didn't sit there and say, because of the color of your skin, you, you, you're supporting it. Mm -hmm. God is sitting there saying is that you are all made in the image of him. God looks at us as man, one group with different shades of colors, different eye colors, different heights, different genders, huh? different we, we're all but we're all made in the image of God and because we're made in the image of God we're not subordinate to any one of us as a race it's when we sit there and try to uh, create our little little kingdoms that bypass the will of God see if any man would be there and subject to the will of God that's that's what God's looking for but that's not what we do we sit there and we try to go in and then try to determine that who's in charge. And then we try to protect our little whatever we have because we don't want to be subordinate to somebody else. What we don't realize is that that's God's kingdom is all of you are his children. And God wants all of you to love one another and not try to be over anybody. I mean, we moved out and really think about it. It's, it's funny. You got people who, when you have the other categories, you got a financial category, and then you try to have a race category. And then the people in the race category that, that, that falls into the different financial different categories are fighting for just their category of race. Meaning even if they're poor, even if they're struggling, they sit there and say, well, at least I'm not, I'm not subordinate of, of 
based on race. And God is saying, are you crazy? And are you even crazy about this money situation? When you try to hog all the money, control all the money, and instead of sitting there saying, is, what do I do with the money that I have? How do I help my fellow man with the money that I have? Because that's what God is looking for. How do you, how do you take care of the money and the people, your brothers and sisters? You see, your brothers and sisters is not based on color of skin. It's all mankind. How do you do that? How do, you, how do we let others suffer when we have means to, to take care of other people? But if we play this category of race, then we're going to sit there and have that problem. Because now we're sitting there too busy saying this. See, I remember one friend of mine sitting there and said gene pool. You know, can't have you born in the wrong gene pool. Uh, gene pool? There's only one. <laughs> there's, there's man, that's the gene pool that we're, all, that we're all born into. And then we're born throughout this world. And you may have been, some people born in, in Africa, some people born in Europe, some people born in the United States, some people born in the Middle East, or whatever you want to call it. But, but we're still from one gene pool made in the image of God. Amen? So we still love one another, huh? So what what is the scripture I put down here is uh, first Sam, I hope you're there. If you if you're not, uh, when when I when I put this video out, I'll sit there and put it down there uh, so you can see it. That's that's my objective. Put it put it put it up there so you can read it. Uh, but let's look at it. It says here Israel. I'm titled that part of this this part of the chapter it says Israel demands a king. <laughs> In 1 Samuel chapter 8, starting to verse 16, it says, And he will take your men servants and maid servants, and your goodliness young men, and your asses, and put them to his work. Matter of fact, let me let me put I, I cut and paste it eight, but I think we really want to start. Let's start the at the beginning of that, I thought I copied it. I did. Let me see. I put it in the, my slide is, is off. <laughs> Let's start from the beginning. <laughs> okay. It's chapter eight. That that's the slide. And like I said, because of the size, it's gonna hard for most of you to read it. So I'm gonna swap that out. And I just read it to you. And like I said, when I actually do the uh, recording, uh, I'll go ahead and put put the slide right somewhere right here, okay? So you can read it. All right, but it says right here, now, now I'm right here. It said 1 Samuel chapter 8, starting in verse 1. And, and like I said, it says, Israel demands a king. And it came to pass, when Samuel was old, that he made his son judges over Israel. Now, the name of his firstborn was Joel. The name of the second, Abia. They were judges in Beersheba. And his son walked not in his ways, but turned aside after lucre and took bribes and perverted judgment. There's man again. You know, the Bible is said that the heart of man is definitely weaker. And and if, if that's the case, we definitely don't want to be in a situation where we depend on uh, our fellow man, because that's what has happened. We've had from, from pastors, we had from, I'm talking about, let's talk about from the ministry. We had pastors, we had popes, we had priests, we had people that moved toward the flesh, operating carnality, and start doing things that are perverted because they stop following God's will. But God's will never change. It's just sometimes we as people try to, to uh, when we start putting put people, put, put people in charge, instead of sitting there saying is God is in charge and his will, his word, would be the deciding factor of what, what I'm gonna do.